Someone recently said something to me that had me thinking because it wasn't the first time I've heard it. This person and dad said, the courts favor mothers. So when I first started practicing law a really long time ago, we used to call it a visitation schedule. And then somewhere along the way in my state, we started calling them parenting plans. That's because dads weren't just getting visitation with their children. They were doing their job as a parent as much as a mother was. And so the word visitation didn't quite fit. When you're getting divorced and you have children, one parent doesn't start off with more rights. Listen, there are going to be exceptions to every rule and there are going to be circumstances when a parent is not capable of parent for all different kinds of reasons. But I'm not talking about those situations. I'm talking about all of the other situations where you have two parents who love their children and they're both capable and able to keep them safe. In this situation, one parent does not have more of a claim to the children over the other one just by way of their gender. So your children need two parents and the more involved both parents are in your children's lives, the better your children will do post-divorce. Divorce in and of itself doesn't cause children harm. Conflict does, and I will say it over and over again until you're sick of hearing from me. Conflict is what harms your children. There are times when judges have to step into custody situations. That's what they're there for. But if you're fighting over custody, not because you have a legitimate concern for your children's well-being, but rather because you don't want to give up your time, you need to rethink why you're fighting. Is it because you're going to miss your children when they're with the other parent? Of course you will. Is it because you don't like your soon-to-be ex's parenting style? Well, that isn't a reason to fight over custody either. It's common for parents to have different parenting styles and it doesn't make the other person a bad parent. So how about you start thinking about your parenting plan as a place of equality? You both start off on equal footing and work from there. No one automatically gets more time just because. Your children want to be with and love both of you, so let them. No, courts don't favor mothers. They favor parents who are engaged and capable and willing to be a parent. And let me tell you, when you have a teen, you're gonna want the backup more than ever. You might be divorced, but that doesn't mean one parent should be sitting on the bench. Both of you should be in the game. If you haven't already, check out my podcast, Happy Even After. My guests share their stories of forgiving and moving on and thriving in life after divorce. Thanks for tuning in.